The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, the Honorable Minister for FCT, and all other members of the Federal Executive Councils here present, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, all the Senators, members of the National Assembly here present, all our National Working Committee members, the Director General, Presidential Campaign Council, ably represented, all our party faithful, the State Party Chairman of FCT, my brothers and sisters, party faithfuls, all the youth of Nigeria, the greatest youth of the greatest youth of the greatest youth. I want to talk. I want to yearn. I want to sorrow. I want to be me. I want to baba. You see, on Saturday, by the grace of God, we are going to be be. We are going to back by. We are going to win. Your Excellency, I won't talk much. All the country, men and women, our party faithfuls and those from other parties, including the man that is contesting in the other political platform of the PDP. On this particular arena, I did mention something the other time and I asked a simple question. And that same question I'm going to ask today. And we simply have the answer. And once we have the answer, we don't need to panic. All we need to do is to simply go and do the needful on Saturday. And the question goes this way. That there are two banks in Nigeria. Only two banks. President Muhammadu Buhari Bank and Atiku Bank. And I did ask a question. If you are a banker or you are a businessman, even people from PDP, where will you bank? Buhari Bank or Atiku Bank? <laughs> Buhari Bank or Atiku Bank? <laughs> Even the thieves, they know that they will take their money to Buhari Bank. We know that very well. President Muhammad Buhari, Almighty Allah brought you for us. You are here performing. From the very first day you were born, you've been sacrificing for this country. You sacrificed so much for the unity of this country. You've served the country in the various capacities. And you are still serving this country in this particular capacity. And as God will have it, they thought they could take your life. God said no. God said no because of young ones like us. Because of the Telakawas. Because of the future of this country. Even those, our international community friends and friends, they know. That is why today you are the leader of Africa. The whole African countries has come to you to lead the crusade against corruption. And by the grace of God, when you come back in the second time, even America will invite you to come and fight corruption in their land. Britain will call you to come and fight corruption in their land. European communities will call you to come and fight corruption in their land. You have shown that you are the greatest general. On the surface of this earth today, we know exactly what has been happening in security. The rest is history, and I know you are going to do more. You have shown that you are the greatest economist today. You took this country from recession under one year. Today, we are making a lot of progress. You have shown that you are the greatest farmer. Today, we have a lot of multi-millionaire farmers. Infrastructures, we are doing it. What else do we need again from you? You have said that you want to sacrifice for us. And we continue to sacrifice. And we are the ones that need you. You don't need us. Because of that, Your Excellency, please just get ready. By this time on Sunday, 
we are already celebrating, inshallah. Nigeria! <laughs>